the spotting scope that I use for 100% of my hunts is the Razor HD. This is the 27 to 60 with an 85 mil objective. I find that this scope covers every base that I need, whether I'm hunting in the mountains like I am now, or I'm down in the willow and the buckbrush, and but still looking, you know, say I'm hunting moose and I still need to judge a moose from a long distance away. I really like the objective, the light gathering capability of this scope. So it's kind of my one-stop shop. It's, you know, the, the quality is the highest quality and it just covers a lot of my bases. So one important thing for me is the durability of the scope itself. I've had this one particularly for three years and it's done amazingly well for me as far as the, you know, the terrain that I've brought it into. Um, it's very strong, it can take a beating. But the clarity from edge to edge is what really shines on this particular scope. Um, I can really reach out and see long distances and be able to tell what that animal is that I'm looking at, or even if it is an animal. You know, I could be looking at something through my binos and then quickly pull out my scope and either determine not only if it is an animal, but what size it is. And that's the really a great thing about this particular scope. It's my go-to and I pretty much carry it on every hunt that I do. So for me in mountain hunting situations especially is it makes no sense to buy a smaller scope than the 27 to 60 for me because it gives you that clarity, the field of view that you need to be able to see something can save you hours, can save you days of hiking in a 10 day hunt by just being able to pack maybe a little bit extra weight that it, that it weighs, which is, you know, is relative. A little bit of extra weight will save you miles and hours and potentially days in a long hunt of just traveling. And every mile that you put on your body is constantly just wearing you down. And, and when you start to stack days on top of days and you're chasing sheep that you don't know as legal or you can't tell how big they are because you're too worried about carrying a few extra ounces uh, on a spotting scope, I think it's a big mistake. So Vortex's premium scope provides everything I need in the mountains. I think that if I can use it for sheep and goats, it'll probably you know, satisfy anybody's needs as well. Um, it's, this size is their heaviest scope that they make. And I find that a heavier scope with great glass is not a place to scrimp on. Do not scrimp on the weight because you want to get a few extra ounces off your back now because it's going to save you miles and hours and potentially days of hiking in a long, you know, say mountain sheep hunt. If you just buy premium optics and Vortex has the best warranty in the market. Their warranty is unsurpassed amongst any scope manufacturer or any optic manufacturer in the market today. So they back their products, the products is quality, and it's gonna get the job done under any circumstances. For me, the angled scope with the rotating tripod mount is 100% the way to go. Um, I know it's a bit of a bit of a controversial subject sometimes, whether straight scope versus angled, but for me, it's angled 100% of the time. I will never go back to a straight scope. I do understand that what I believe is the single benefit to a straight scope, which is you may be able to pick up your target acquisition faster, but you know, you spend a little bit of time behind this and I pick, I pick up the game, you know, probably just as quick as anybody else with a straight scope. It's just a little bit of practice and that's the maybe the only, I wouldn't even say downside, it's the only thing that probably a straight scope in my opinion has over, over angled. So for me, angled all the time, I love it 
because you can rotate it. You can be hiding behind, you know, a rock. You don't have to expose yourself as much. You can literally angle it, angle it down if you're trying to look downhill. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a really more versatile piece of equipment for me, and especially in the mountains. So I'm not gonna go into like technical aspects of the scope, but some of the important things for me are scratch resistant lenses and waterproof seals. Just keeps obviously the moisture out and the scratch proof lenses in these environments in rocks is very important. Or down even when I'm moose hunting or caribou hunting in the willow and you've got brush and bushes in there. Uh, it's just, it's just high quality it's well built. They put a lot of effort into the engineering of this scope and that's why it's premium. And that's why it gets everything done for me that I need.